those who don't know, I was partially reared by Colin. <laughs> and um, and I, may, I don't know, 77, I was born in 75. Did I meet you first? <laughs> I, I'm, I, I can't believe it. Because like, when you said that, I was like, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but so I now I feel like, wow, I'm not the longest in the room. You met me when I was a baby. And you were nice to me. And you're always nice to me. And, um, and I remember once at a dinner party when I was about 11, you said, uh, yeah, you were living in New York. You were like, yeah, yeah, you should come visit us or something. And I was like, really? And um, I had uh, won some, like, won, won a settlement from having a match struck and it landed in my eye. <laughs> and my, my mum had one of her, like, friends who was a student lawyer, like, sue the match company. And, and they got $3,000 to put it in my account. So I was like, I can afford it. <laughs> and he was like, okay. And I went and lived with you for a month in New York when I was 12 years old. Six weeks. Six weeks. <laughs> he got a television for me so I could watch um, Dave Letterman every night, who I had grown up imagining as my dad. And, um, and oh, I fell in love with Oscar, the, the server at the delicatessen around the, the bodega on the corner. <coughs> and you, you uh, let me dance on, in that big loft of yours, even though the people downstairs complained all the time when I was dancing to La Isla Bonita. Um, <laughs> constantly, just over and over again. Would have driven anyone mental. Um, but you managed to make it right with them. And, um, and then I remember you had to go into the Grammys, I think, but I wanted to just sit in the limousine. I think that's what happened. I think you were going into the Grammys and I was really excited because I'd never been in the limousine. And I was 12 and I remember I was like, I'll stay here with the candy. And it had a little television in it so I could watch the Grammys while I was in the, in the car. I just parked outside the Grammys. And I just remember watching it and seeing Uncle Collie go up and accept an award and thinking, this seems like a pretty good life. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll do this. <laughs> and for those of you who have ever, if you've ever heard me sing, you will now know just um, Uncle Collie's in everything I do. <laughs> and, um, you're a part of the, I mean, you're my favorite singer, so I love you. <laughs>